What about you whiskey lovers and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. Apologies it's been just over a week since my last video but on the last one I'd stopped coughing just enough for recording purposes but as you can probably hear from my voice well the coughing continued thereafter but I think I'm hopefully getting over the worst of it now when I'm still a wee bit hoarse hasn't been the best of a week but I want to bring you guys another review and what better one at this time of year when the temperatures are dropping it's like that time of the year where you just want to get a whiskey that you can take that gives you like an Olaf frozen type thing a nice warm hug so nothing better than a cask strength and nothing better than an Oran. So this is the Oran Shuri Cask, the Bodega. Now, this is what Oran says about it, and I've been a big fan of Oran now, since I really got into it. And it says, well, this is a new addition to the Oran Core range, and it says, it's the perfect choice for someone who enjoys their single malt with plenty of body and complexity. And who doesn't like that? Now it's matured in some of the finest casks available to the whiskey industry. This cask strength sherry matured. Single malt is both luxurious and elegant with layers of rich, sweet spice and oak. Our master distiller has worked with the producers in some of the most prestigious sherry bodegas in Jerez, Spain to select only the best quality casks to be filled with our precious spirit. Well, they're not going to say they want to ship place to get them but based on the experience I've had with this and you can see from the bottle here and the glass here I've spent plenty of time with this I've had this for most of the year spent a lot of time with it so I better not balls this up because <laughs> this is my last dram of it but anyway before we get into the nosing and tasting Obviously it's a cask strength, it's bottle of 55.8% ABV, it's non-chill filtered, it's not your coloured and it will cost you 55 quid. Which on the basis of what you'll get, you know, for normal cask strength whiskies, it's pretty damn good. So if you happen to have a pour of this or something similar, you know, wing it in your glass, we'll share it together and... As I always say, whiskey's always better shared, because that's what this community is all about. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll start off in the nose. Sláinte. All oh, right off, right on the arrival in the nose, it's that big hit of dark, sherried fruits. And what I like... As you guys know, a dank earthiness. That note of the one thing I really love when a good cherry whiskey, and that's a damn good dirty whiskey. And this has got it in abundance on the nose. It's dark, it's dank. Those Christmas uh, dark fruits are in there. The figs, the dates. Raisins more than sultanas. But then there's also a sweet toffee note coming in there to just make it a wee bit lighter. But it really does have a Christmassy feel, which makes it good for this time of year. Lots of Christmas spice. Again, figs, dates and deep, dark, fruity richness. Ah... Uh, lovely on the nose. So let's get into the palate. Slauncher. Ooh. Whoa. Right off. Right. Right on the arrival. Fruit and spice. And you know what? Well you got that fruit and spice on the on the nose. On the palate here. It's a wee bit lighter. It's 
it's fresh, it's vibrant, and it has that nice warming tingle that goes across the palate and down the gullet and right down. And it does give you that nice warming tingle, that nice warming hug. Again, it's much lighter on those fruity notes on the palate than it is on the nose. It doesn't have that dark, danky earthiness that damn good dirty whiskey that I like on the palate. But here we've got praline chocolate. But again, loads of cherry, cherry, sherry, loads of sherry. And there's a wee bit of oak spice in there as well. But once again, as it goes towards the back of the palate, as it transitions, there's a lot more light fruitiness. It's a bit brighter. And then again, you get a wee bit of a nice, rich cherry burst. Cherry and sherry. Oh, what? what do you expect? Sometimes it's easy to get your words mixed up. So we'll go in again. The thing that comes across in this that I really like is how that big sherry influence really marries perfectly with all those fruity, chocolatey, dark fruits. The mouthfeel is vibrant and luxurious at the same time. As I said already, the nose is more of that damn good, dark, dirty whiskey feeling going on than the palate does, but that doesn't really take away from it all because this is a damn good whiskey because everything works so well together. You know what? I know this one can be quite hard to get because it's so popular and it's, it's sold out in a lot of places, but a 55 quid whiskey done right, an Aaron make damn good whiskey. You know what? 90.5. This is a fantastic whiskey and I recommend it all day long. Superb whiskey. Oh, I need some more. So I'll leave you with that guys. Thanks for my new subscribers. Thanks for you guys who keep coming back. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please like, share and subscribe. And until the next time folks, I'm going to savor the last little drop onto here. And you guys keep on looking after yourselves, look after each other, and until the next time, keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Sancha. Thanks for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews, and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.